It's June 16th, and you know what? Christmas is right around the corner. You know how all of a sudden you wake up and it's Christmas? <laughs> Or you're turning on the TV and it's June, but it's Christmas in June. Oh my goodness, this is getting wild. It's like I cannot imagine. Um, I, I think what I'm trying to say is every single week I say to myself on Friday, it's Friday again. And then on Sunday, I say to myself, oh, it's Sunday again. I have to, you know, we have to take the garbage out, right? Because our garbage man comes on Monday. I feel like I just took it out. It's like the, the the sense and loss of a sense of time is so prevalent to me. It's almost like, you know, go to bed, get up. You're like, we're robots. Why? Because I can't like get in my car and buzz out and just kind of go shopping at Macy's, you know. I can't go over to the mall and hang out for a couple hours and, you know, people watch and eat my Panda Express and, you know, <laughs> check out what's in the stores. I It was like a, my pastime, you know, I'm in consumer goods, I'm in marketing and advertising. I like to be out in the mix. I like to know what's going on. So do you have that same problem? It's like, is this like all of a sudden it's Friday again? Oh my God, it's Friday. <laughs> At one point, I made a joke with my husband because I would walk in his office on a Friday and I would say, Amore, you know, guess what today is? And he would forget and he would say, oh, what is today? And I would say, it's Friday. <laughs> because they just seem to roll right into one another. So how do we prevent this from happening in our lives, right? Because I'm going to tell you something. Today is June 16th, and not too long from now, I'm going to be unwrapping Christmas presents, okay? And then, not too long from then, I am going to be 66 years old. So is that important? Is it important to measure time in that way? I think so in a in an interesting way. I think when you don't have things to look forward to, when you're not planning a vacation or planning a trip or being able to uh, wait for a movie that's coming out, then you finally get to go see it on Thursday night, um, you know, or I can't wait to go have brunch with all my friends or Sunday's coming and I always have so much fun with the family. That kind of stuff just wasn't existing and didn't exist now for the past three months. It's slowly but surely coming. It might go away again because, you know, COVID's on the rise again. But regardless, I think what this lesson for me is, is that time passes really quickly. And especially as we get older, it seems to pass even quicker. And for this reason, we must embrace what we have. We have to make the most of the time that we have. So even if we're not able to live the kind of life and do the things that we always have been able to do and go the places that we can just randomly go to or plan trips or have luncheons, we still need to find a way to honor and respect father time. Let me know what you think. And by the way, thanks for listening. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>